my name is Cheryl Walser, and today I'm going to tell you the top 10 things that have helped support my son through a life with autism. Number one is belief. Believing that progress can always happen and never putting a limit on it, always going to your best efforts and then letting it grow and flourish into whatever it's going to be. Number two is making sure that prayer and intuition and your gut instinct are a part of all of the decisions that you make in, on this journey. Number three is good nutrition. You want good filtered water, um, nutrient dense foods, and bioavailable vitamins and minerals, supplements, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, methylcobalamin, B12 has been helpful. Also probiotics, you can get them in capsules or you can grow your own with Water Keeper or Rejuvelac, which I'll show you in a later video. You can also do digestive enzymes that will help you to digest your food um, more quickly and more efficiently so you can assimilate more of the nutrition. A healthy gut nourishes a healthy brain. Also, number four is essential oils for everyday little life's emergencies and then also for balancing emotions. That can be crucial at times and I like to use a really good grounding, balancing blend to balance emotions in the moment. Um, number five is to have a good rapport with a good open mind doctor, good open minded doctor and then also chiropractic adjustments because your mind can function so much better if everything is in alignment. Also cranial sacral therapies, they move the plates of the brain, I'm sorry, of the skull, and then the cerebral fluid is able to flow freely through the brain and then also through the spinal column. Number six is brain balance, which is the best thing that we ever did for our son. It's all about developing misdevelopment um, of the brain. And so uh, if you can research this, um, it's really good about getting um, couples on the same page about what to, what to do with their child. And then um, also there's a book called Disconnected Kids by Dr. Mo Robert Malello, the guy who uh, created the program. And that is really helpful to help you do things at home. Uh, number seven is to read the book, The Child Whisperer. That's really good about di differentiating between personality traits and autism traits and helping your child to be able to grow and develop into their true self. Um, then number eight is to limit electronics. Number nine is exercise. I recommend swimming and Kempo Karate because it's got the individual aspect and then also the social aspect. Number 10 is uh, our special ed department had a social skills class where they spelled out each um, social scenario so that the kids would understand it better. Also with communication, make sure that the languaging that you use is empowering. If you notice your child's shutting down because of what you say, notice what you're saying and then try and tweak it so that it can be more empowering and lifting and help them to progress. And then also, it is also always helpful to have a nice little comfort pet. Those are the top 10 things that have been helpful for our son. Thank you. Talk to you later. Goodbye.